Good morning, Bulldogs. If you please join me, rise, remove your hats for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everybody have a great day. What's up, everybody? Industry Insights is back again this week with me, Will Clark, and this time we returned to Kiyoki to learn all about digital marketing and sales, something I hope you all find as interesting as I did. When I sell Sandpoint Magazine, people say, hey, do you do web websites as well? Um, or do you offer online advertising? And so it all kind of gets mixed together, so when it gets busy, it gets really busy. In my sophomore year of college, I uh, earned a paid internship in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and working for university directories, and they sold the yellow page advertising in campus directories. They're long gone, and just like most uh, directories are now. That's where I really got you know, my, my background in sales and my desire in sales, mostly advertising. To be successful in sales, you have to look at everything with a positive perspective. I, in high school, was very interested in creative writing, so I thought maybe I'd do something with that. But I first went to school to be an audiologist, so I was doing speech pathology and audiology, and there was a lot of physics involved with that, and I realized I was not interested or good at physics. So I kind of switched gears, went back to that creative writing um, side, so I joined the communications college and um, started down the path of what I could do with writing and I thought I would do copywriting and that's you know kind of a tough industry to get into just doing copywriting so I just kept adding more things on and so ended up getting an advertising degree so lots of advertising and marketing and the first job outside of school was at a digital marketing agency. What I do day to day for digital marketing I think is different at an agency than it would look like uh, as an in-house marketer. Um, at an agency, you're working with a lot of different clients, um, usually a diff many different clients in a single day. So I might start the day working on a report to provide to a client about how their campaign's doing, then jump to writing content for a website, search engine optimization, um, creative writing, just compelling storytelling in there as well, and then you know, have a meeting with the team about what our marketing programs are going to look like. So it's a lot of strategy. So it's really jumping back and forth. It's a lot of switching between your creative brain and your analytical brain, which I think a lot of people like because, you know, if you have both, it's nice to exercise both. Don't pigeonhole yourself on one particular thing. I think there's a lot of jobs in the digital marketing realm that are like just one singular thing, like someone who's just doing search engine optimization all the time, someone who's just doing email marketing, someone who's just doing copywriting. If you can be someone who can do all of that, you will always be employed.